Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Yuka Laylee for the Sony PlayStation 4. Now anybody that's been watching my streams over on Twitch, I did spin the wheel out of 80 plus games that I had in a backlog as to what game I should Let's Play next. And believe it or not, Yuka Laylee actually won! I think Dark Souls 3 was pretty close, but it landed on this game. Now, I've had this game for a couple years, but I've never finished it because I found the levels were a little expansive, so I got overwhelmed. But now that I got an excuse to finish this game, let's get to it, shall we? Alright, so that's how far I've been on my original file. We're not going to worry about that. Instead, we're going to start a new game. This game, if it seems familiar to you, it's kind of like a spiritual successor to the Banjo-Kazooie series to some degree. It was made by the same people. So, let's get started, shall we? Now, I'll try to get everything in this game, but I'm not making any guarantees. Because I know I didn't get everything in Banjo-Tooie, although I was very, very close. Don't worry about the uh, loading screens, they tend to hang like that. You just gotta wait for uh, it to stop buffering. That's all we gotta do, really. I guess it takes a while because you're just starting a new file. There, there, it's actually moving again. I might have to edit some of these loading screens out, because there can be a few of them. Meanwhile on Shipwreck Creek... And in the horizon is the Hybri Towers, where the antagonist of this game is. Yeah, the antagonist is a bee. Everything has been prepared to your specification, capital B. The workforce is now yours. I could skip the cutscene, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Do you think this new statue is golden enough? Or too golden? Oh, it's, um... Focus test it! These employees need someone to look up to! Hold on. What is that? Huh, Vice President. <laughs> That's the, uh, Vice President statue, sir! I didn't sign off on that. Plus, it's casting an awkward shadow on the President's plinth. Pin it! Of course, you're the boss now. Now, are we ready to synergize your latest profit plumping technology, Dr. Quack? Yes, sir. I prepared the Novelizer 64, my most ingenious invention. We can use it to steal all the dusty old books in the world and leave us as the only player in the market. <laughs> Two cent gum. An equally ruthless and dynamic strategy, Doctor. I like it. Prepare the device immediately. I want to be on World 4's golf course by lunchtime. There's a World 4? Yes, sir. Right away, sir. I really like the design of this game. I really do. Like, it's very zany, but that's what you expect from the Banjo series. And Quack, make sure you secure the special book. What's so special about it? Is it made out of hemp? It's just absorbing all the books. Not everyone's gonna be illiterate. 
Make everybody dumb so they have to buy your books. Yes, I'm aware the uh, flying uh, ally is a bat. Yeah, sometimes uh, my capture card does that from time to time. It's rare, but luckily I was able to like uh, hit the PlayStation button to interrupt the cutscene. Ah, this is the life. I feel like this old shipwreck finally feels like home, Lily. That'll be my vibrant paint job, Yuka. It's about time we renovated this place. Most of the rooms haven't been touched since we moved in. Who knows what's hiding under the floorboards? Insects mainly. Delicious, they were. Look at that nose. Oh, and some old book I've been using as a drinks coaster. Whoa, pirate treasure. I bet that's worth loads. It looks antique. Uh, you might want to watch that book. Really? Do you reckon we should flog it? I'll split you 80-20 in my favor. That's generous. Hey, my profit book. It's being sucked away. The pages. They're escaping. And they're golden. Do you not know that it's your book? I think that book is a bit more special than you thought, Laylee. Quick, after it! It's worth even more now it's a flying book! Alright, so you move around with, of course, the left analog stick. I don't have a lot of abilities right now, but you'll get them later. You can rotate the camera with the right analog stick. X, of course, is jump. A circle allows you to slurp, which is a very long tongue. And we can't even attack anything because we don't have an ability for that. You can swim, though, at the very least. Of course, you have to pay attention to your oxygen meter. If that runs low, obviously you drown, and when you drown, you die. So let's go take a look for that book. Where could it have gone to? Well, obviously I know where it could go to. Just how do we get there? Because look, there's a gate. You can talk to people with X. Alright, pals. Let me just see you. Hi there. I'm Yuka, and this is my buddy, Laylee. Do we know you? Yeah, of course. It's me, Trouser. The honest and dexterous salesman. Yeah, I remember. You're the crook who sold us that dodgy flat screen. Nope, not me. You're surely mistaken, friend. Hey, Trouser, did you happen to see a magical flying book go through here? For five quills, I did. They're in demand now. This book business has kicked off. Perhaps you can find enough in those treasure chests lying around. I already tried lockpicking those while Yuka was asleep. No chance. Ah, to unlock them, you'll need one of my trademark special moves. By using square, our green friend here can perform the tail twirl attack. It's smashing! Press square to attack. Got it. Excellent! I'm gonna whack those treasure chests and bring yeah. me my five quills. Heh, <laughs> trousers. Sneak. I'm a quill! One of 200 on each world! Collect us to purchase new moves! Yep, so quills are essentially the uh, music notes in from Banjo Kazooie. Like, there's a lot of them to collect, and you use them as currency. In Banjo Kazoo Banjo Tui, rather, you actually had to use them to buy moves. Which was a uh, pretty neat for its time rather than just going fighting bottles. You can press the options button to go into pause. View your totals. There are 145 pages. Pages, of course, are the pages for books in the entire game. And there's 1010 quills overall. 
Those butterflies over there are health extenders. The lightning over there is for certain special moves that require energy. The other two below it, I'll go over those later. Same as those uh, ghostly figures over there. I think they're called ghost writers. In Hyvary Tower's hub itself, there's 20 pages and only 10 quills. Yeah, yeah. And if you're unsure about your moves, you can always go into Moves Info and take a look at them. You know, just in case you forget how to do certain abilities. Alright, so let's be on the lookout for all the quills. If there's only 10, I might as well try to look for them all. Alright, so luckily they should just be all in treasure chests. I don't know if you get, like, all ten of them on the outside. I hope you do. So that I don't have to go back here unless I have new moves. Ah, uh, yes! That seems to be enough to jog my memory. Come back here! How did you even know I picked those up if you're just standing right there? Or, you know, I guess you can't really be standing, you're a snake. Looks like I can get in there. Mm. I'm Tasty Butterfly Energy. Be nice and collect me to refill your power bar. You can use the tongue ability to get health from that too. So butterflies technically have two purposes. Alright, so we got six. Oh, I almost missed that one. Is there any in this barrel? You can smash certain other things. Oh, that was just a butterfly. Okay. Not necessary since my health was full. Alright, so that's eight. There's two more lying around. Unfortunately, I can't get up there yet. That will be something you can do later. For now, I think we just gotta get up here. Oh. Thought I saw Oh, there is a chest. I wasn't sure there'd be one up here. Good thing I took off inverting for rotating the uh, X camera, because that would have got me confused otherwise. Bat ship crazy! Oh, the puds. And I think that's all the quills on this level. Good idea to stack as many as you can, since obviously you need them for moves. And you definitely don't want to go in through a stage without being able to unlock all your potential. Come on then, Lispy! Spill the beans! Where's our book? Your book headed toward the business beyond this gate. Strange things going on in the here since the takeover by Hyvary Towers Corp. I'm headed there myself to sell some moves. Allow me to raise the gate. Come on, Yuka. Let's get that book back before Trouser realizes we didn't give him those clothes we found. Nice of you to say that right in front of him. Okay, that's just another ramp. Fine by me. To get across this next gap, we'll need to use X to jump. Press X again while in the air. We'll perform a double jump. Press L2 to duck, by the way. Swim. <laughs> Tutorial classic. We best stand close to the sign. <gasps> what sign? I ain't reading it. I know how to swim. <coughs> oh, we can go in here. Hi. What are those blue things up there? They look even shiftier than trouser. Maybe they're lost? I doubt it. If I were us, and I'm 50% of us, then I'd attack them as square, 
Unlike those soft shooters, our health bar won't auto refill. You're right. But if they do attack us, I can always eat a nearby butterfly by pressing circle to regain some health. Good. Well, we don't have to worry about that because obviously our health is full. Seems like I should be able to get up there. Oh, wow. I think I just created a shortcut. If you can call it that. Well, let me go around the long way anyway to take a look. Let's just get these jerks killed. And it just leads over here anyway. No trespassing! This is private property! Hello. We're searching for our missing book. It looked like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now. As will most of the world's supply before long. Wahahaha! <laughs> That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a bookmobile? Actually, it's just one book we're in particular we're interested in. Now scram! Before I call security! There's something not right about this place, Laylee. We should investigate. <laughs> they just let us in the door! Useless security, much? Alright, so now we're actually inside Hyper Towers. Hey, friends! Over here! Lovely to see you again, pals. I see you've got up to speed with your basic moves. Yuka gave himself a short tutorial on the way in. Smashing. Time to put your skills to work. I've spotted a piece of your book. Oh, it's up there. Why don't you go ahead and collect it and find out what's going on? I go myself, but I've got an important call coming up with the World 1 boss. He's after one of my super moves. Yeah, right. Alright, so we're basically in the inside of the enemy area. Ah, uh, just like being in Grunty's castle in Banjo-Kazooie. There's like so many places you can go and still some collectibles to obtain, as well as the entrances to the actual worlds. Alright, so we gotta get up there. Oh, you can't break it yourself. Well, at least they tell you which way the worlds are. The thing is, we can't even get to World 1 because of that ramp. Those particular seats over there, we can't really do anything with them yet. Right, let's get up, uh, up here perhaps? I don't remember if this is the right way to go. Okay, it's not. Okay, I see where it is. We gotta go up this ramp. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh, I just recovered. So, get used to platforming. You're gonna be doing a fair amount of it. Uh... Do you not see me make progress? Seriously, this guy's a jerk. Very shifty and shady. So shady, his first name might as well be Slim. And look at that, that's our first pagey. Hello there. Who might you be? I'm a Pagey. I live inside the all-powerful One Book. The One Book? How much is one of those worth? One Book is incredibly powerful. And it's been stolen by the evil capital B. 
If capital B unlocks the power within, his crooked company will have the power to rewrite the universe. Luckily, us pages have fled the one book and got into hiding. Without pages, the one book is just an empty shell. If you use me to unlock one of the grand tomes in this factory, we can transport to another world and search for more, my friends. Don't worry. We'll help you, Pagey. Come on, Lily. Let's find one of those grand tomes and search for more Pagey's. Hey, pals. I believe I can assist you on your quest. Why don't you come and see me for the details? That is a big-ass phone. Alright, what do you want? Say, you two chaps need to explore those grand tomes. And I'm looking to expand my business to new locations. How about we make a deal? For every grand tome you unlock, I'll help your quest with a new move. Free of charge. That sounds like a good deal, Trouser. We're in. Super! Your first complimentary move is one of my trademark abilities. If you hold down R2, you'll get the grip you need to roll up slippery ramps. There's one note in the small print, pals. The longer you use this move, the more you'll drain your power bar. So roll wisely. Instead of eating butterflies, you can collect them to refill your power bar. Why don't you try your new trouser patented maneuver on that nearby slippery ramp? Slippery? <coughs> okay, so that's how you get up there. And it looks like there's another pagey inside a cage. And that there is the Grand Tome we're looking for. But, I believe I saw a ramp elsewhere. Remember that ramp we saw nearby the ship? You can also roll in place if you feel that you're going to lose control. There we go. Now we don't have to go across all those platforms. Okay, that's the ramp I'm talking about right here. There, we did it. Now, can I just do everything I need to do here now? Or should I wait till I get another ability? Why don't you try your new trouser pen and maneuver on that nearby slippery ramp? It looks like there's some kind of crack over here. Maybe I can't do everything with it yet. You can't, like, press into the analog stick using, like, L3 to go in this kind of view. This is like a rather ni nice view on its own. Oh well. I'll come back to that later. But I feel like there was something around here that I could get. Maybe I'm just missing a move. Oh well. Let's just unlock the way to world one. Almost walk, walk past the entrance like a dumbass. You can jump while rolling, too. Oh my god. Knock it off. I'll get up the ramp already. He actually keeps telling you to do that until you get up that one specific ramp. Alright, I'll do it. 
Doesn't look like we have a big energy bar now, but we'll find upgrades for it. Look, Lily, a PG and a KG. Amazing! Why doesn't it just turn sideways? Help! Cowl Bee's corp let minions not lock me in this metal prison! These pamphlets sure are pushy. Come on then, tell us where the key is. There is no key. KGs are unlocked by solving nearby puzzles. But you've not let learn the correct move to help me. Okay, PG. We'll come back for you later. That must be the puzzle right there. Gee, I wonder what I'm supposed to spill. <laughs> There's a strange block over here. Don't think that does anything yet. There's the tome. Hey! You made it to the first Grand Tome! The Grand Tomes are magical gateways to new worlds! Ivory Tower seems to have captured many, but only us pages can unlock them for you. Stand on the switch, and if you have enough collect collected enough pages, we can unlock it for you. Yeah, yeah. Then we go inside and rescue more of you, right? That's right. Once inside, don't forget to find Trouser. It sounds like those moves he sells will help you out on your adventure. I don't know how many pages I need to open this book. It will cost one PG to unlock this world. Do you want to unlock Tribal Stack Tropics? Yes. Yay, we did it. Return here later, and I'll reveal more about the Grand Tones. Alright, so to enter a world, you just press X on the page itself. And in case you're wondering what that disc on the lower right is, obviously it just auto-saves your game. Alright, so let's enter... Huh, nobody knows why Nimbo's wife left him for that typhoon. <laughs> I don't know either, and I don't care. Alright, so welcome to Tribal Stack Tropics, world one of the whole game. Alright, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we are going to tackle world one. See everybody, thanks for watching.